chances are you're somewhat confused by this modal theory thing. I say that based on a lot of posts that I see in various Facebook guitar groups that I follow of people that are expressing confusion and frustration with the idea of modes and trying to understand them. A lot of the comments that I see are flat out wrong or they dismiss the necessity of understanding all that stuff. Or if they do uh, say something correct, a lot of times it's not very helpful. So what I'm gonna do in this lesson is I'm gonna introduce you to the distinction between the Aeolian and the Dorian mode. And I'm gonna do it in a very simple way that's easy to understand. You don't have to understand all this modal theory stuff of, you know, Dorian is two, so if you're playing an A Dorian, you're playing a G major scale that starts from two and goes to two and all that stuff. You don't have to know any of that, okay? We're gonna start with a minor pentatonic scale that most people already know. If you don't know it, here it is. The root note on the sixth string goes like this. Two notes per string, very simple. One four, one three, one three, one three, one four, one four. You need to do it ascending and descending. Ascending is up. Descending is down. From a root note on the sixth string. Same thing from a fifth string root. This pattern is less used or less well known, but you need to know it just as well. Fifth string pattern goes like this. get the second octave root is right there so with those two patterns six string root fifth string root you can drill these around the key circle if you don't know what I mean by drill around the key circle you need to download the five lesson foundational series there's a link to it in the blog I will give you the address right here that you can download it for free with no commitment required. Just download it, go through it. It will give you a mechanism by which you can find any note anywhere on the guitar neck. And it will also give you a mechanism by which you guarantee that you will practice everything in every key. So to run the minor pentatonic scale around the key circle, it's a cycle of fourths, C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, G, C. So you do the minor pentatonic ascending and descending in C. F. B flat. E flat. And so on. A flat. circle. We're going to take those scale patterns and we're going to simplify them even more. We're going to reduce them down to uh, the upper register, the upper octave, what I call a functional area, on the sixth string root in A. It's the top four strings. On the fifth string root, it's the top four strings. Okay, so I'm going to do most of this demo in uh, the key of A. So the, the notes of the scale are based on the notes of the natural minor scale. You don't need to know the natural minor scale. You don't need to understand any of that yet. The numbers of the notes in the pentatonic root, third, fourth, fifth, seventh, and then it starts over. See, that's five notes. One, two, three, four, five. The root, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the seventh, root, third, fourth, fifth, seventh, root, third. We're dealing with the upper register, root seven, three, four, 
five seven root third. Okay, notice that between the five and the seven, there are two different notes that could be a six. The note that's closest to the fifth, that would be called the Aeolian six. The note that's closest to the seven, that's the Dorian six. So all we're doing is adding one note to the minor pentatonic scale, either the Aeolian six or the Dorian six. Okay? So ask yourself, what kind of sound do I want to hear? What kind of feeling do I want to communicate? What color is it? The Aeolian 6 is darker, right? It's a little more depressed. In feeling. The Dorian 6 it's a little brighter. There's a little ray of sunshine breaking through the clouds there. So, you make your decision based on what you want to hear. I've got a, an A minor chord uh, looped into my looper here, just like a little A minor funk thing. Uh, I'm going to solo over it, and I'm going to mess around with the Aeolian and the Dorian 6, and I'll tell you what, what I'm doing so you can hear the difference. So you hear the difference? The more you mess with it, the more distinguished those two tonalities will be to your ear. Spending time with it, messing around with the Dorian 6, the Aeolian 6, trains your ear. To me, it's a huge distinction. A lot of students can't really tell the difference when I first demonstrate it. You know, like I'll, I'll play the Dorian, and then I'll play the Aeolian, tell much difference between the two. It's a huge difference to me. I can hear a huge difference in those two tonalities. They feel different. They sound different. The color of it is different. And um, by simplifying things and just adding either the Aeolian 6 or the Dorian 6 to the minor pentatonic scale, you kind of backdoor your way into modes, right? And we can do all the modal stuff later, but this will get you started on uh, distinguishing the modes. You should make your decisions about what mode to play based on these simple questions. What do you want to feel? What do you want to hear? Rather than going through a convoluted thought process like, if we're playing an A minor chord, it could either be a two, three, or six, if it's two, you're in the key of G. If it's three, you're in the key of F. If it's six, you're in the key of C. Um, I think this is in the key of C, so A minor is six, so I'm going to play a C major scale from six to six over this A. Ah, the solo's over. Too late. Too much thinking. Too many levels of linear thought that has to happen. Instead, you should think, 
What do I want to hear? What do I want to feel? What color do I want to see? And that solves your problem. You want the Aeolian 6, makes it sound darker, more depressed, more sad. Or do you want the Dorian 6? It's a little lighter, a little more sunshine. It solves a problem. And you don't have to go through all the modal theory convoluted thought process thing. Keep in mind that you need to go through the same concepts, the same process with the fifth string minor pentatonic with the Aeolian 6 and the Dorian 6. I'm not going to take the time to go through all that right now. Um, you get the idea. I'm just going to say that the, even though the concept is the same, the mechanics are a little trickier because you have this, what I call a crooked box. Here's the fifth, here's the seven, here's the Dorian six, the Aeolian six. So you have Dorian, Aeolian. The crooked box can be fingered different ways. Dorian. creative with the fingerings on the fifth string position. I have more information on the modal thing. You can get deeper into the differences between the Aeolian 6 and the Dorian 6 by going to the related blogs that are linked to in this blog. I will put those addresses down here and you can check them out. I'm planning to do a series, a lesson series on modes that will go out to my site members for free every month for the next few months in the monthly newsletter. So if you're not a site member and you're interested in the modal thing, you might sign up and you'll be on the list. We'll see you the next time. <laughs>